6322. Without objection, the amendment is considered read and will serve as base text for purposes of amendment. The gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Stiles, recognized for five minutes. I thank the chairman for calling up H.R. 6322, the end financing to Hamas and state sponsors of Terrorism Act. Uh, I also want to thank Congresswoman Peterson for joining me in co-leading this legislation. The end financing to Hamas and state sponsors of Terrorism Act will help us deal a heavy blow to the financial networks that fund Hamas, Hezbollah, and Iran's belligerent actions. With Iranian financial backing, Hamas invaded Israel on October 7th and inflicted untold horrors on innocent people, including American citizens. From that point on, Hamas and other Iran-backed proxies in the region have engaged in deadly, indiscriminate rocket attacks against Israeli communities. Iranian proxies have also engaged in frequent attacks against U.S. forces in the region, leading to dozens of injuries and at least one death. And now as the Israeli military continues to press deeper into Gaza, the world's learning the truth about the parallel world Hamas terrorists have built under Gazan homes, schools, and hospitals. All of this costs millions of dollars. We need to cut off the funds. My bill requires Treasury Department to work with our allies to ensure Hamas can never raise funds to attack Israel again. This effort will involve our allies in the G7, and it should include an aggressive effort to target Hamas's investments abroad and its funding pipeline for Iran. My bill also takes aim at one potential source of funds for Iran, special drawing rights. In 2021, the administration unilaterally approved an allocation of SDRs from the International Monetary Fund. This sent nearly $5 billion in unconditional liquidity to Iran, where it is now bolstering the country's reserves. Iran's SDRs, which now total around $6.5 billion, can be exchanged for dollars, euro, sterling, yen, and Chinese RMB. This is a potential lifeline to the Ayatollah and a source of funding for terrorism, weapons proliferation, and other malignant activities of the regime. My bill would prohibit the Treasury Department from using Exchange Stabilization Fund to redeem any of Iran's SDRs. Moreover, it would impose the same prohibition for another state sponsor of terrorism, Syria, which received around 400 million from the last SDR allocation. My bill also prevents dealings in SDRs with third countries that the Secretary knows would result in the provision of funds to state sponsors of terrorism. This closes off indirect use of funds that could benefit Iran and Syria. Treasury may argue that it already refuses to engage with Iran on SDR exchanges, but this posture can change at any time, and the administration has shown a willingness to waive restrictions on Iran. Unlike a sanctions waiver, an SDR exchange could happen without, without any congressional notification. This is a big blind spot. If the administration believes in its current practice, refusing SDR exchanges with Iran, there should be no disagreement about backing this up in law. Unfortunately, we've seen the consequences of giving Iran access to funds. We need to get serious about stopping Iran and its terrorist proxies. Again, I thank Congresswoman Peterson for her support and I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to support this important legislation. I yield back. Gentleman yields back. Back, uh, further discussion, further debate. Ranking member seeks recognition. I move to strike the last word. General ladies recognized for five minutes. Thank you. While I do appreciate this bill's well-intended study and strategy on Hamas financing, I oppose H.R. 6322 because it would undermine the ability of the United States to lend or exchange special drawing rights, or SDRs, to countries around the world, even when there is no link to Iran at all. Every IMF member country receives an allocation of SDRs on a pro rata basis. SDRs are essentially the currency of the IMF on a, based on the value of several dominant currencies, primarily dollars. Often, developing countries try to exchange their allocation for dollars, and there are proposals to enable the Treasury to lend its large balance of SDRs to countries in need, including, as part of the package, President Biden has requested to counter authoritarianism. I'm proud that Democrats on this committee join me in pushing for a $650 billion increase in SDRs during the pandemic, 
which were used to shore up developing country finances at no cost to the Treasury. And because of the broad sanctions and policies the Biden administration and previous administrations have imposed, Iran has never been able to exchange its SDRs for cash. However, this bill would prevent the United States from exchanging or lending SDRs when developing countries around the world uh, by requiring the Treasury to make a literally impossible determination. This bill harms the entire world without doing anything to change the status quo on Iran. And so, I urge all members to oppose this bill. Uh, General Lady Rec uh, yields back. The gentleman from Illinois. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have an amendment at the desk. Gentleman has an amendment at the desk. Uh, we'll pause uh, while the amendment is distributed.